How much progress does Giga Texas do in a month? Let's find out. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. Well, I recently made one of these about Giga Berlin, and you eager beavers couldn't help but ask to see the same for Texas. And I was curious myself, so, you know, let's check that out. And just like last time, yeah, let's not do a week. Let's do a whole month. Let's pause it here for a bit. The alley between the paint shop and the battery cell production area has gone from pretty wide open to fully covered. The alley between the casting cathedral and the paint shop has mostly closed off as well. The concrete needed to fortify this structure on the roof has all been poured, so that's, you know, really great. Let's continue. What you can't see in this shot is that significant work has been done inside to install the third Giga casting machine, and a lot of concrete has been poured on the floor. Along the eastern side, there's new concrete outside, and a lot of new holes dug for a variety of purposes, which may include loading docks, drainage, etc. The final walls have also been added along this eastern side. Mad thanks to Jeff Roberts for allowing use of his drone footage and for doing such a great job bringing footage to the Tesla community every single day. If you haven't checked him out, I don't know, I assume you're lying, but, you know, check him out. As we round the corner, we can see just how much more roofing material has been added. There are also new roads being placed and paved around the site. Peering into the central corridor, we start to see that something significant has changed in there, but we'll get to that a bit later on. In the southwest corner, we can see it's gone from some floors to partial floors to mostly floors, to almost all of the floors being covered in concrete. Also in the southwest corner, we can see the walls, which used to stop well up the building, about a third of the way, now extend almost all the way to the southern corner. It's not just concrete exterior panels that have been added, but a significant number of windows as well, many of them 30 to 40 feet in height, which is 10 plus meters. A number of logistical elements like containers have been juggled around in this area as well. The staging area over on this west side has become a proper parking lot, and there have also been a lot of windows and other elements added to the northwest corner battery cell area. A lot more of the fiddly bits on the roof of the battery cell area have moved forward significantly. From this vantage, you can see just how much further along it really is. If you watch my weekly Giga Texas Math Tracker series, you know that as fast or slow as it may look on any given week, it's really running kind of right on schedule for a mid-December mostly completion. A lot of the construction material and general junk in this area is gone, replaced with open spaces and even the start of landscaping. The various junk piles in the parking lot look essentially unchanged. I mean, basically, they're still a mess of random stuff, but the area to the south of them, where the containers holding the body and white robots were, has been moved out. And the clearing to the south of that has seen a fair bit of grading and prep work. So what do you guys think they're going to build in this part of the site? Parking? A building? A building for something specific? Let me hear your thoughts.
to the far east where we were just sure the Project Bobcat building was going to break ground months ago, we can see a pretty significant shift in the types and quantities of materials stored, as well as many of the shipping containers that were previously to the south of the parking lot. They're here now. To the north of this area, we can see more clearing and land use in a whole new section. The tree stumps and foliage piles are gone, and the land is properly prepped and graded. So what do you think is going to be put up in here? Just like tools and equipment? Or something more serious? Flying up through the central corridor, we can see a ton of new, heavy footings have been poured, with extra prep along the sides of it on both sides, and even some new walls have been added. Each of these elements continue their southward march towards the southern edge of the building's footprint. Looking at the roof, we can see a lot of progress has been made, and things are shaping up nicely. Thanks to everyone who has been with me on this journey. The channel just passed 10,000 subscribers, and I plan to make a special anniversary video next month to give you all a peek behind the curtain. So, what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave me a thousand lumens of your blinding brilliance in the comments below. And as always, my friends, please stay tuned, please stay juicy. And I simply cannot wait to hear from you clever robots with all the clever subtleties I forgot, didn't notice, or cut for time. There's a bunch more really good stuff to see, so I hope you don't leave, but if you do, I understand. I just think you should kind of hang out and see it all through. And a big thanks to my Patreons who get early access, bonus content, an ad-free experience, and help keep the channel running for as little as a buck a month. I literally cannot do this without you guys, and your support is really and truly appreciated. Thank you guys so much. And to explain the title, well, is Giga Texas actually bigger than Giga Berlin? Well, the permits in Berlin say the total site might be bigger, but the bottom line is we just 
don't know. They're both very big, they're both very impressive, and they're both a gonna rock some socks.